Predictions are always a fun time, uh, especially as a Baltimore Raven fan. Just thinking about your favorite player, your favorite team, and exactly what you figured was going to go down. I made a bold prediction before the season even started about our Baltimore Ravens. I predicted that they were not only beaten, but they were going to win the Super Bowl. Now, we, of course, know how that prediction turned out. But nonetheless, we ain't done making some bold predictions. And in today's video, we are going to get into predictions about several of the Baltimore Ravens players and some that could stay, some that could go, and everything in between. But before you get into it, I got to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Powerhouse Wheels. You can go to powerhousewheels.com for all of your tire and rims needs. You want to be looking clean, extra clean on the road? Hey, you go to powerhousewheels.com and tell them Team Keep It Clean sent you. Now, when you order anything under $1,000, you use TKIC5 to get 5% off. You any order anything over thousand dollars? You use TKIC ten to get ten percent off. That's a lot of money off. So again, they trying to take care of you. They trying to hook you up because they know that y'all are not good but great people. So team, keep it clean. Also, before we get into this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video, not a single thing. And also leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a whole lot. Now, this article. From Ravens Wire, and shout out to Ravens Wire, by the way. This was sent to me from my guy, Noah, and let's hear what he had to say. He said, Hey, Graven, uh, been a big fan of the videos, and congratulations on the newest member of the Ravens flock. Hey, I appreciate that. She better be a Ravens fan. She better be a Ravens fan. <laughs> we ain't playing no game. But anyway, uh, he said, uh, I saw this post from Ravens Wire that predicted where they believe which free agents will go and which will stay. I wanted to know what you think of the scenario, if it happened, and how realistic do you think that this is? All right, Noah. All right, buddy. Let's see what this article is talking about. And, of course, as always, we will link the article down below in the description. And it is from Glenn Irby, and it is from RavensWire.USAToday.com. And it says, Predicting the Fates of Ravens Free Agents in 2024 and this article came out on february 21st today is the 22nd so this article still pretty hot off the presses anyway um it says baltimore faces an offseason of change after mike mcdonald bolted for the seahawks job anthony weaver landed the dolphins defensive coordinator job and 29 players are set to be free agents headlined by patrick queen and justin matabike the ravens are 20th in nfl in cap space with about over five mil available and there will be critical decisions regarding several vital contributors and two all pros so here we go starting off First, but certainly not worst, but not. Odell Beckham Jr. Will Odell Beckham Jr. stay or go? Let's read what they had to say about Odell Beckham Jr. And we'll read their prediction and I'll give you mine. He said, in his one season with the Baltimore Ravens, Beckham appeared in 14 of the 17 regular season games, logging 35 receptions for 565 receiving yards and three touchdowns. Beckham hasn't recorded a thousand yard season since 2019, but he vibed well with the Baltimore skilled players and had a tight relationship with Zay Flowers. Beckham should move on unless he's prepared to return at a major discount. Beckham could flourish playing opposite Garrett Wilson while catching passes from Aaron Rodgers with the New York Jets. Okay, well, I guess I, I didn't even really get to hide what they were thinking but yeah their prediction was that Odell Beckham Jr. is going to go and, and I could not agree more with exactly what they said they they said everything that we've been saying too so I, I think a lot of people are on the same page with that because they said Beckham should move on unless he's prepared to to return at a major discount and yeah major major discount for sure it's funny something came out uh, a little while back uh, from the account was uh, from NFL Retweet. And they put that the Ravens paid Odell Beckham Jr. $16 million this season. He finished with 35 receptions, 565 receiving yards, three touchdowns. Odell Beckham Jr. got paid more than $457,000 per reception. <laughs> it's like when you put it like that. Oh, okay. All right. Now. But anyway. Odell Beckham Jr., he responded to that. And Odell Beckham Jr. had this to say. He said, if I was going too crazy and we were losing, it would be my fault. If we would have won the Super Bowl, it would not have been my fault. It's just funny the world we live in. I play wide receiver, which means everything has to go right just for one opportunity to catch one pass. And that's just one pass. We were blowing teams out and throwing the ball 20 times ago. I wonder if he meant 20 times a game. But anyway, I played 30% of the snaps. LOL, please do the math and leave me alone. Limited targets. Do the stuff out of my control. Please show me the passes I dropped this year. I, can't, I can find one. 
Control what you can control and miss me with the garbage. Number one rushing team in the NFL, and we will win. It's funny how we control narratives to fit our agendas. And yeah, also Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> he went off about that one. He was a little frustrated about that one. And um, with, with Odell, I uh, yeah, I, I think um, again, it, unless there's a big change in his pay, I don't think Baltimore. I don't think they're gonna bring him back. Right now, he is technically signed, but his salary technically next year is fifty million dollars. So yeah, you know that ain't happening. Uh, so one way or another, um. Something's going to give with Odell Beckham Jr., whether it's going to be an extension, whether it's going to be a release, but something has to give, like, rather quickly. It has to happen soon because the clock is ticking. And I, I don't foresee a scenario. Baltimore Ravens don't – they don't normally do this. No, nah, yeah, they, they're not a team that does this. We have seen teams do it before, though, to where a player, they slated to be – well, not, they, not slated to be a free agent, but the team knows that – they know what decision they're going to make with that player. They know that they're going to move on from that player. They know the relationship is done. Now, with the Baltimore Ravens, the relationship with Odell Beckham Jr. is not a bad one at all. And it's not, like, done on bad terms or anything like that. But they could possibly know what their decision is on Odell Beckham Jr. But we've seen it in the past before to where some teams, they will hold on to a player. They know what they're going to do with him already, but they'll hold on to the player, hold on to him, hold on to him. Free agency will come. They'll hold on to the player. The second wave of free agency will come. They'll still hold on to that player. The third wave of free agency will come. They'll still hold on to the player. Then they'll be like, all right, we'll release you now. And it's like, why didn't you do this before? If you knew you were going to move on, why not do it before? Now, with the Baltimore Ravens and Odell Beckham Jr., I don't expect them to be in that scenario because that's just that's not how they operate. That's not, a, that's not how they get down when it comes to stuff like that. It, it just, just reminds, it reminds me of Cam Newton. Cam Newton with the Panthers. They knew they were moving on. They knew that they were done with Cam Newton. And they just kept holding on to him, holding on to him, holding on to him. Then they finally, oh, okay, we'll release you. And, but... Just an ugly scenario. But um, whatever's going to happen with Odell Beckham Jr., I envision it happening sooner uh, rather than later. Because, um, again, Odell, like, like they said, the vibes were there. Hey, the leadership was there. Just him being a great teammate was there. Him being encouraging to the other teammates, it was there. And the, the article mentioned his relationship with Zay Flowers, but it obviously went way, way past just Zay Flowers. You, you, you saw Odell Beckham Jr.'s just impact. You saw how happy his teammates were when he caught a touchdown pass, when he would make a big play. You just saw how they would get hyped because he was hyped. And it was just, and of course, the, like he mentioned, when he went off, the, the Baltimore Ravens, they were winning. And when you're winning, <laughs> that, that makes everything so much better. That, that, that just makes everything so much better. Because, again, you could be frustrated with your numbers. You could be frustrated with your stats. And I'm sure he was, especially as a wide receiver. Yeah, of course he's going to be frustrated with them numbers. Because, but, hey, they were winning. And you get to see what matters to somebody the most. And I can't fault anybody for whichever side they on. Because it's their money. But you, you, you really get to see what side people are on the most when they aren't getting their individual numbers. But the team is winning. Because some people could be frustrated, which I understand. But they could be like, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm upset. But, hey, we winning. So we doing good things. And, I, hey, I may not contribute as much as I want to, but we winning. And that's what matters most. Or there could be some people that be like, hey, we winning, but I need to get mine. I, I need mine. And, again, I get both sides because – Winning, obviously, hey, that's huge. As fans, that's what we we want the team to win. And players, they want to win too. But players, they want to win while getting theirs because their individual stats mean a lot for their money, for their upcoming contracts, for endorsement, for everything. All that stuff matters big time. So that's why I say I get both sides. But as far as Odell Beckham Jr., uh, if I had to, again, make a prediction on the, the Baltimore Ravens, Odell Beckham Jr., I, I think they move on. The thing with Odell Beckham Jr. is – that we love Odell Beckham Jr. was great vibe with the Ravens. But my biggest concern, and I've talked about this before previously, would be the injuries. The injuries, because we clearly know that he was not healthy all year this year. We, we know that. We get that. We understand that. He was not healthy all year this year. He was hurt. Whenever he would be in a game, he would come out. Whenever he would make a play, then he'd be on the sideline two seconds later. Every time. So we, we know that he wasn't healthy, but will Odell Beckham Jr. ever be fully healthy 
Because ever since his rookie year, he's continued to miss significant amounts of time throughout his career. Still been a baller now. Still been a baller, still been a playmaker. But he's missed a good amount of time. A lot of times throughout his, the entirety of his career. So while he gets older, and, and while he, again, last year, he, he contributed here and there now for sure. But we're older. And there were some missed opportunities too. So that's something to think about as well. There were some missed opportunities too. But Odell Beckham Jr., he still got something left for sure. But again, the, the, the price tag. That, that would be the biggest thing, the price tag. Had he had, like, they paid Odell Beckham Jr. like five mil or something like that, and he got these numbers, even even next year, had they paid him like five mil and, and those were his numbers, oh, 35 reception, 565 receiving, a three times. Oh, okay, cool, no problem. No problem. Great. Go go for it. But 16, and, and, and I get it. Ravens had to do it. I ain't mad at them for doing it. I, I don't look back at this and be like, oh, Ravens should have never paid Odell Beckham Jr. all that money. No, 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 no. Ravens had to do that. They had to do that for several reasons. One, number one, and I was hoping that he would get to change his number two, number one, but number one was Lamar Jackson. Lamar wanted Odell Beckham Jr. wanted DeAndre Hopkins. Couldn't get both. Ravens said, all right, OBJ, let's go. Let's get it. DeAndre Hopkins was still with the Cardinals at the time, by the way. So he would have had to get traded uh, for if the Ravens were to acquire him. But Odell Beckham Jr. was a free agent. Um, they wanted Lamar Jackson, so they said, hey, we'll sign Odell Beckham Jr. And that helped them draw in Lamar Jackson. So that worked. But another thing, too, people knew and people know that Ravens, they don't pay receivers. They do not pay receivers big time money. And even while this wasn't the highest of the high when it comes to money for a receiver, for the Baltimore Ravens, this was significant. Like, to pay a receiver who hadn't played all the previous year, uh, to pay him 15 mil base salary with the potential of earning three more mil on top of his 15 mil base salary, ooh, ooh, that is not very Raven-like at all. But they did it because they were desperate, and they had to. So I'm not mad at them at all for making that move because it's what needed to be done in order to secure their quarterback. In order to show the world like, hey, we are willing to spend some bread here at this position if we really, really need to. And they really, really needed to. But with Odell Beckham Jr. specifically, I don't foresee them spending bread like that with him again. Because you just, you saw what you got, which was all right, but you don't know what you're going to get moving forward. My biggest concern is not Odell Beckham Jr.'s ability to run. It's not his ability to catch. It's not the yak. It's not the route runner. It's not the hand. I ain't worried about none of that. I think all of that will be fine. But my concern would be his health. And literally, health is wealth. Especially for the Baltimore Ravens. Especially for Odell Beckham Jr. Especially for that salary cap. Ooh. Health is wealth. So we'll see what happens with Odell Beckham Jr. And we will literally see... Very, very soon.